the four characteristics of matter if you we'll take any matter in this universe it has totally four important characteristics so that is only first one is what the particles of matter are very very small so that is the first thing which we have studied so particles of matter is very very smaller next one the particles of matter have spaces between them understand so they have spaces between them next one water also they are always moving constantly they are tell me they are moving they are constantly moving i like that if it comes to the last fourth characteristics if you observe understand what is that particles of matter they will attract each other attract each other so these are the four characteristics of matter which we have studied in the last class so now we will perform some simple experiment to show that the characteristics of particles of matter are you people ready ra so what i am saying so now we have studied these four characteristics if you will take any matter in this nature it has these four characteristics understand so one is very very small next one is spaces between them next one are constantly moving and next one is attract each other so in this already this one and this one we have already seen but now we will see how they are smaller or not we have to verify so for that now we have to going to perform to to prove this four characteristics of matter we are going to perform some simple experiments which we people can do in our home also if you are having that requirement so suppose let us take the samples of matter which will which we will be using for performing this experiments are understand so for experiment this full experiments we are using potassium permanganate what we are using ra the samples or else we can use as a raw materials requirements potassium permanganate is required potassium permanganate is required next one water is required to perform this activities understand next incense stick incense stick means what is that can you able to say, say anybody incense stick everybody you people all are uh, yeah everybody even christians muslims hindus doesn't matter they will use that nowadays even market we are having a that sticks for even mosquitoes also before only for god now it is even for mosquitoes also incense stick what is that i n t e n sorry t c n t i n c n s e incense stick can you able to say what is that tamil we have that sticks for god we we'll use what is that urbatti ah agarbatti urbatti or cycle batti have you heard manya and samya you people are very devotional correct so that incense stick means agarbatti which tamil used to called as water urbatti a uh, odarutti so that is only called as basically agar understand it agar batti we can call it. so that is incense stick so it is a requirements for our experiments to verify this uh, four characteristics one is potassium permanganate next water next incense stick next one air next one what air and the next one is copper sulfate copper sulfate this is also one of the chemical understand and a piece of chalk a piece of chalk and as well as ice and an iron nail ice and and iron nail these are the requirements so for us to prove this activities so now shall we start so these are the requirements we should remember potassium permanganate water incense stick air copper sulfate a piece of chalk ice and iron nail these are the requirements to prove these four activities four characteristics of man so let us comes to the first characteristics what is the first characteristic sir what is the first characteristic what is the first characteristic sir mass per particle sir very small what the particles of matter are the particles very of very small very very small so now let us see how we can prove that activity understand so the first characteristics of matter which we have studied is 
understand so particles of matter is understand made up of a very very small particle so now we have to prove that let us see what we have to do means so as we know that the very very small size of the particles of matter can be shown by the performing a experiment called as understand dissolving the potassium permanganate in water so that is the experiment we are going to do to verify the first activity called as the particles of matter what is the first characteristic sir the particles of matter the particles of matter are very very small are very very small so this is the first thing which we are going to study so for this what we have to take we have to take two two requirements what is that uh, only the two that is only called as potassium permanganate and as well as what is another thing pradosh tamil selvan potassium permanganate and water so this is not the new experiment for us we have already studied water. yeah we have already studied this what will happen right now uh, if we dissolve the potassium permanganate in water actually water is turn into purple color sir yeah actually potassium permanganate is in purple color but water is in what water is in colorless substance colorless so water is a colorless substance now let us take the now one beaker so for example i have taken one beaker and here i have kept the potassium permanganate this is kmno4 this is the formula which i have taught you is it yes or no kmno4 means of what kmno4 means what potassium permanganate now if you pour the water what will happen ra this is the first activity we have studied correct speak ya yeah. so what will happen now this potassium permanganate is in purple color slowly it will start dissolving in water and finally this full water will be turns into which color ra after certain time after some time what will happen ra speak ya yeah. after some time this full beaker of water will turns into complete purple color is it yes or no if you are not sure yes, then what i will so it will completely will turns into purple color water is it yes clear any there anybody saying any doubt you ask yes, can you repeat it again happening? communicate only it is good if not it is no use mohanesh tamil sir Zalba. can you repeat it again see if i keep the potassium permanganate which is in uh, purple color and if you pour the water what will happen potassium permanganate slowly will dissolve like rasna if you add rasna to the water is it water rasna is turn, turning into water color or uh, water is turning into rasna color vanya water sir water is turning into suppose if you add orange rasna it will turns into orange color is it yes or no yes or no yes sir yes same yes, way here Yes, the permanganate is in purple color now if you pour the water slowly it will dissolve and it will turns into complete water will be turns into after dissolving complete uh, potassium permanganate so what will happen alana completely it will turns into purple color is there any doubt tamil selvan till here mavanesh yes sir no yes sir no, no. let us take that one beaker which is having a understanding a purple color water means a potassium permanganate is dissolved in water now let us see pradosh has prepared this pradosh has prepared this now pradosh let me imagine he has prepared 100 ml of potassium permanganate he has dissolved in 100 ml of water so he has been made everything into purple color what purple purple color so means in the sense of what he has made potassium permanganate solution he has made So let me imagine now. Pradosh had made it into a made by dissolving potassium permanganate in water. He has made potassium permanganate solution. Now, if you observe, let us take now. Darun is there, Mavanish is there, Pradosh, Manya, Samya, Alana. Everybody, they came near to him, and they will ask, "Please give me ten ml of potassium permanganate, ten ml of potassium permanganate, ten ml of potassium permanganate." Like that, everybody they have shared. this potassium permanganate from the uh, from the pradosh now 
is it every potassium permanganate solution from pradosh from tamil selvan from darun from mavanish is it they are having that purple color or not is it they are having purple color or not yes sir is it will be there or not that is what i am asking sir yes, yes sir but if you keep on if you keep on suppose let me take for example now if i will add suppose a small amount of water now if i add a 10 grams of potassium permanganate then it will be turns into a dark purple color is it yes or no it will be a very very deep purple color is it yes or no yes or no yes, sir deep purple color now yes sir i'll start adding more and more and more and more water what will happen ra that color will be decreases or not suppose for yes, example decreases your mother told you to prepare sugar solution means in the sense of now summer correct lemon juice people will prepare is it yes or no yes yes sir now before going to study this experiment let us study that one suppose now alana mother said to prepare a lemon juice or else manya your mother or mahalakshmi let it be your mother told you to prepare lemon juice so what we people will take we will take 1 liter of water suppose your family members are five members so five members means 200 200 ml at least need to get so that one liter of water i have taken one liter of water i have taken so as we know that my estimation my people won't drink more sugar understand only less less sweet is enough so that let me imagine i have had 100 grams of sugar i have added 100 grams of sugar i have added for the 1 liter of water now if we taste it so it is having enough sufficient of uh, sweet is it yes or no yes sir now again manya manya is prepared this now samaya came and again added same for the uh, again one more liter of water now the sweet will decrease yes or not the taste will decrease yes or not no, yes sir if you add more amount of water the taste will decrease yes or not pradosh yes sir decrease now again some other your mother will come and again she will pour one more liter of water again taste will decrease yes or not so continuously like that yes, sir, totally. diluting that process is called as dilution so if you keep on diluting then the concentration means the sugar taste will be decreasing or not continuously it is decreasing yes or no yes, sir. Yes. the same way now we have taken tell me now in the same way yes. i have prepared initially the some amount of potassium permanganate solution which is a very very deep purple color now i am slowly diluting 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 but still we have a purple color but the concentration means that uh, a deep purple color will be turns into light 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 purple color is it yes or no the purple color the color of the, the thickness will be decreases continuously yes or no yes, sir. yes. but Yes, means in the sense of after i have added 100 liter is it the potassium permanganate is removed still it will be inside it will be inside but the concentration is less is it yes or no yes or no yes sir now let us say that observe very carefully yes. all of you now i am going to show you one picture in that you can understand so now suppose see how many of you able to see this just wait a minute how many can you able to see this please speak Yes, yes sir now you see so this is what let me imagine this is pradosh prepared understand this is prepared by pradosh which will be looks water very deep purple color is it yes or no yes or no yes, sir yes it is c he has dissolved 100 ml, 100 grams of potassium permanganate in 100 ml of water so that he is observing very deep purple color now take 10 ml of from this he has prepared totally 100 ml He has prepared totally how many ml, Ra? Pradosh. How many ml? Hundred ml, sir. Hundred ml you have prepared. So in that, let us take ten ml and you pour in the second beaker. You pour in the second beaker. So now, understand? Ten ml potassium permanganate solution from the pre previous one I have taken, and here I have added the ten ml for how much, Ra? Ninety ml of water. Is it yes or no? Here in this beaker. already 90 ml of water is there so that 10 ml i have taken from here and i have added so that the uh, the purple color thickness will be decrease or not 
like it is decreasing yes, sir. Sir. yes now Decreases. yeah this has been done by let me imagine tamil selvan tamil selvan has collected 10 ml from understanding 10 ml from the pradosh and he is having 90 ml of water so he has mixed with that so still he is observed the purple color now now from the tamil selvan mavanish came and he has collected again from this 100 ml he has collected again 10 ml and he is already having 90 ml of water in that he has mixed it so means in the sense of again the color is decreasing or not this is done by yes, mavanish decreasing. yes sir, like decreasing. you can see next darun collected 10 ml from the 10 ml from understanding mavanish and again he is added the 10 ml to his uh, 90 ml of water now again the color is decreasing or not yes sir like that next from her, from him alana collected and from alana manya collected so continuously the the, the purple color uh, it is decreasing or not yes sir decreases so, so means sir, sir, how you are observing is it then is the last speaker does not contain potassium permanganate mm -hmm. last speaker does not contain potassium permanganate it contains is it yes or no Yes, sir. Yes, but yes, very, very less percentage. But it is transforming from which baker? Ra? It is transforming from first baker. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Means in the sense of yes, we yes, can sir. say particles are very, very small in size. That is why we can transform from first baker to second baker, second baker to third baker, third baker to fourth, fourth to fifth, fifth to sixth. Still, the potassium permanganate is transforming. Is it yes or no? It is going from one baker to another baker. That is why we still observe a purple color. Means in the sense of, from this experiment, we can say particles are made up of small, understanding, this every matter is made up of a very, very small particles. We can say it or not? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. From the first baker to last baker, only one change we have observed. What is the trap? The color is decreasing. Is it yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, sir. We are continuously adding more and more amount of water. Understand? So more water we are adding so that the amount of potassium permanganate is decreasing. But the particles are transforming from one beaker to next, next to next, next to next, next. Even though last beaker also, it is having potassium permanganate, but very less particles. That is why the purple color becomes Understand very light purple, it will turns into what a uh, very less purple color is present. So that means in the sense of we can say particles are made, sorry, matter is made up of very, very small particles. That is why it is transforming. Even though we have made six samples from the first beaker to last beaker, the K, the particles are transforming or not? Yes, sir. Yes. Why yes, they are transforming? Because they made up of understanding, very, very small. That is why they are transforming from one baker to another baker, even though we have made six, uh, six samples. So that is the first one which we can uh, we can uh, use to prove that particles are uh, sorry matter is made up of very very small particles. So this is the experiment which we have to do it. Well, we have, what is that experiment? Potassium permanganate is dissolved in water. Later, we keep on diluting. What? Understand? Keep on diluting. That is the first experiment which we have to do. So from this, I can conclude that, understand? So what I can conclude? So if you will observe that, understand? So potassium permanganate or else any matter which is made up of a very, very tiny particles. That is why they are transforming from one to one, one to one, one to one, like that. That is the reason. So this tiny crystal of potassium permanganate, if you will take it, they are supposed to be made up of, if you will take one gram just potassium permanganate also, it is made up of millions of particles, millions. Just I have told you, one water droplet contains 10 power 21 particles, like that. If you take one gram of potassium permanganate also, it contains millions of particles. That is why these particles must be, what is the size of them? Very, very small. They are the very, very small particles. How many of you understand this activity? Do you understand or not? Yes, sir. Yes. So that is the first activity which we should do. Now, if you will understand this, then we have to go for second characteristics. Can you able to say what is that, Mavanesh? Second characteristics. Tamil Salman. What is the second characteristics? 
they have spaces between them is it yes or no is it yes sir no? interpersonal yeah. space we have to prove that understanding matter they are having a spaces between them is it yes or no yes or no yes sir so that is the second character yes, very very simple let us take the particles what is the second characteristic means the particles understanding of matter have spaces between them of matter have please all of you keep heading have spaces between them spaces between them understand so let us see now how we can prove it for this one nothing is there we have to take let us take then who is remaining first to now mahalakshmi is not there she is joined and she left her. so let us take this time girls ra boys all over correct now let us take girls now so starts with the manya now manya manya and samaya uh, okay m and n i will take manya and samaya they have both decided that they have to prove that particles of matter have spaces between them if you take any two particles of matter middle they have some space so to prove this either it is true or not they have taken a two things this both they have discussed and they have collected let me take a 100 ml of water so samaya has collected 100 ml of water now manya came with a 10 or 20 grams of sugar so let me take understanding if uh, anyhow manya is having more amount of sugar understanding so she has been taken let me consider 50 grams of sugar anything your choice so she has taken 50 grams of sugar now let us see that how we can prove that the particles are having spaces between them if we we'll take a matter any matter that particles between understanding inside the matter they have spaces between them so now let us see what will happen and how we can prove suppose your teacher may ask in future how we can prove in question they may ask exam how we can prove that particles having spaces between them then we have to do this one so sugar is dissolved in water that's all so let us see now how that manya and samaya has performed now manya collected water is it yes or no ra is it yes or no yes sir okay now let us imagine that water is 100 ml that water is 100 ml is it okay manya yes sir so they have already given 100 ml already. now uh, samaya has bought 50 grams of sugar in this way so samaya this is bought by samara uh, samaya and this is bought by manya now after bringing the once the samaya has bought the sugar manya immediately pour it inside the water and start stirring stirring with a glass rod what we used to call this uh, like a scale one this is called as what what we should call glass rod so she started stirring with glass rod or else you can stir with a spoon also not an issue understand so she has started stirring with a glass rod so what am i after Even certain time there. yeah so once you fill up the after certain time the sugar will dissolve completely or not if your mother will say to prepare sugar yes. uh, lemon juice if you add the sugar is it the sugar will be like that or it will be dissolved it will be dissolved it will be dissolved. dissolved sir but you observe is it the water level is rising is it the water level is rising is it the water no, level sir. is rising no sir now after certain no, time, the sugar is completely disappeared the sugar is completely disappeared but still the water level is not rises why it is not rises because particles of water they have spaces between them and the spaces is occupied by humra the spaces is occupied by sugar that is why there is no increasing of water there is no increasing of water so the still water level will be same but the water is turns into the sugar solution so from this experiment we can say understand we can say what particles of matter and they having spaces between them or not <laughs> they have spaces or not yes sir yes so yes, sir. to do the second character yes, we should take sugar and water all of you remember sugar and water experiment is the activity to prove this characteristics of matter all of you note it down so this is the second characteristics then we go for the third characteristics now what is the third characteristic sir, it's it's brown, 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 
If you draw Attract the Attract each other. Ah, you can draw. Attract. I think you remember. Pradosh. Yes, sir. Particles uh, of matter Pradosh. attract each other. Let me imagine. Have you noticed it? When you will keep any kind of stone or something, then water level will rise. Is it yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is not dissolving. Is it yes or no? That is why water level is yes, rising. Yes, sir. But while next time, tomorrow you try to prepare the lemon juice. Pour the sugar completely first itself. Water level will increase. Is it yes or no? Yes, sir. After no. then it will decrease. Ah, after that you start slowly stirring, or else you can mix it slowly. Then you can see again the water level reaches to the initial level. Is it yes or no? Yes, sir. Because what is the reason? Because even though we are adding salt or sugar, there are gaps between the water molecules having gaps between them, so that gaps is filled by the sugar particles. Understanding, Rob? That is the reason. Why the value, the volume is yes, not sir. rising. So that volume is not rising means in the sense of we can say that particles, they have spaces between them. That's all. Understand, Ra? So there is no change in volume on dissolving sugar in water. So we can say that they have the spaces between the particles of water. That's all. So this is the second experiment. Now, let us go for third experiment. What is the third characteristics? Mohanish, Tamil Selvan, Alana, speak. What is the third characteristics? They always moves. They always moves. Constantly. Ah, they constantly moves from one place to another place. Now, to prove this activity, you may guess by this time which one we should use. Which one we should use, Ra? So please, all of you, keep adding third one. Understand? So what is the third characteristic? What is the third characteristics? The particles of matter are... Particles of matter attract each other. No, moving now. Particles. The particles of matter... Move constantly. Ah, the particles of matter are constantly moving. Are constantly moving. So that is what it is. So now, let us go with this. Understand? So for this, you may understand what we have to take by this time. This is what we are doing every day for praying God. What is the tray? Nowadays, mosquitoes also coming. Mosquitoes also coming, correct? Mosquitoes, mosquito sticks also there. Yes, sir. Ah, what is yes, that? Sir. What is that? Agarbati. Agarbati. Understanding. So now, Agarbati. that is what we are going to prove. Understanding. So, the third experiment has been done with this Agarbati stick, or else incense stick. What we used to call? Incense, incense stick. So now, you people all are having incense stick in our home. Shall I need to show it? It's not required, correct? Not required, sir. Sir. Okay. So once again, you remember, this incense stick, suppose, your mother has lighted it and kept in the guard room. Is it, are you people are getting smell in the hall or kitchen or is it yes or no? Yes, yes sir. Or no? Huh? Yes, sir. Yes. You, you speak. Is it there? Is it, uh, the smell is coming only in one direction? Is it in all the direction of your house? In all the directions? All, all, all the all. directions. Means in the sense of particles. That is yes, also made up of particles. Means in the sense of that particles are moving randomly or not? They are continuously moving or not? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. They are moving. That is the reason behind why the smell we used to get, even though when we are in kitchen, when we are in hall, once our mother lighted the this uh, agarbatti near the guard, we used to get that smell. Because you will observe here, the smoke, whatever it is releasing, that is the particles only. It is moving in a different directions. Is it yes or no? Yes, yes sir. This yes, sir. Motion. Yes, they always will move in the zigzag path. So this motion is only called as what? Brownian motion. Brownian motion. So this is the experiment which we can do to verify that particles are always moving or constantly moving. So here, what we people need to do means, understand, what we people need to do means, understand, so just you have to take this agarbatti incense stick and understand, just you keep this stick after burning, you just keep it in one corner of the room. Definitely the fragrance. Fragrance means the pleasant smell. 
ki agarbatti cycle agarbatti or else you can see that like mother some advertisements is coming in tamil also correct or not amma ni marchipolenu agarbatti ni marchipolenu ambika ambika darbar bhakti have you heard that i cannot forget uh, amma means mother and i cannot forget the agarbatti ambika darbar bhakti have you remembered yes sir yeah so if you can see that it will keep it in any one of the room, one corner of the room that that smell that fragrance we should call this is what the language we should learn understand fragrance f r a g understand frag fragrance so fragrance means a pleasant smell what we should call a pleasant smell we should get all around the room once you will keep the understanding a lighted agarbatti in one corner of the room so means in the sense of it will spread in the whole room very fastly so we can say that what the burning of this incense stick produces gases or vapors which are having a pleasant smell so that they are moving randomly brownian motion understand they will start diffusion understand they will start diffusing into the air so that only we are getting that smell so that is why we can say from from this experiment we can say that what we can say ra the particles are moving particles are moving constantly understanding in random directions that motion is only called as brownian motion what we should call what we should call brownian motion understand so that's all so now understand ra yes or no speak no yes sir now so like that for the same thing we can use another experiment also that is only again you have to take understand water you have to take water and you have to take copper sulfate crystals copper sulfate crystals means in the sense of they are present like a solid they are present like a solid which are present in blue in color what they are what is the color ra blue in copper sulfate crystals Blue like color, tablets sir. like our tablets they used to present now i have taken this copper sulfate crystals for the same experiment understand for the same characteristic now if i will uh, keep it inside the container which contains water then you can see understand the whole beaker of water the water which is present in the beaker inside it will slowly turns into which color it will slowly turns into which color which color it will turns it will turns into blue color blue blue color blue means color, in the sense of means in the sense of so we can say that understand the spreading of color of copper sulfate crystals in water is due to the both movement of copper sulfate particles as well as water particles is it yes or no so that is why water particles are moving randomly so that this copper sulfate also will dissolve and will start move randomly so that only that solution is getting blue color is it yes or no yes or no yes so that is the reason yes. behind yes. so these are the two experiments which we can we can do understanding uh, to prove that always the particles of matter are constantly moving constantly moving understand amma so now so this is the third characteristic shall we go for the last fourth one shall we go for fourth one Yes, yes sir. No. Ah. Huh? Yes. Now, so what is the fourth characteristic? Please tell me. What is the fourth characteristic? Matter attracts each other. Matter attracts each other. So let us see. Matter not particles of matter attract each other. Particles of matter attract each other. Now, you observe. As we know that fourth characteristic is all of you keep it in. particles of matter the particles of matter the particles of matter attract each other attract each other so now let us see how it will be understand so now if it comes to here understand so there are some forces of attraction Uh, understanding between the particles of matter which bind them together if that force is not there 
definitely that particles will be gone away from each other so for example let us take this force of attraction between the particles of the same substance is only known as poisson suppose you have taken suppose my this marker so it is made up of millions of particle is it yes or no is it yes or no yes sir yes sir if we take any kind of two particles which is belongs to the same substance same substance then between them also they have some kind of forces so that forces the forces present between the same substances understand is called as cohesive forces what we should call very very important thing ra cohesive forces cohesive forces the forces present between the same kind of particles understanding the sub particles of same substance suppose you have take uh, some kind of uh, suppose let me take this marker so this marker is made up of so many particles so if you take any two particles the force present between them first particle also marker particle second particle also marker particle both belongs to the same substance then that force is called as cohesive forces or also it is to called as cohesion c o h e s i o n all of you remember i will say the definition also most important one like that if we'll take same substance cohesion we is to call suppose this is my paper i have sticked with a gum now is it gum and paper or belongs to same substance is it gum and paper yes, or same substance no then the different particles of different kind of matter then we is to call them as understanding the attracts the force of attraction between the different particles of different kind of matter is called as adhesion what we used to call adhesive forces adhesive forces what we should call cohesion adhesive forces adhesion understand adh so adhesion and cohesive forces cohesive forces are adhesive forces so now different particles of different substance adhesive forces same particles of same substance then cohesive forces now i am saying you few days in our textbooks you can see if you we'll go to the shop and all they used to uh, place the notebooks one after one one after one one after one and while they are suppose you will ask suddenly give me one notebook they used to remove it because some kind of sticky thing we used to get par sound will come have you noticed it any time yes sir have you noticed it's uh, two substances if you kept for long time suppose two notebooks or two textbooks if you kept for long time then while you are taking after one month or two months you can see that we have to stretch like this is it yes or no they cannot move very smoothly yes yes sir because yes, they are belongs to the same substance so that in between them adhesive forces or cohesive co forces or adhesive forces will be present same substance two textbooks cohesive forces so is it, is it uh, Uh, easily we can separate it or it is very difficult to separate easily we can separate it or difficult to separate difficult difficult easy sir very easy to easy, separate sir. that is why cohesive forces are called as weak forces what we should call weak forces what we call weak forces now let us take i have taken two papers one is with the pradosh one is with the mohanesh now tamil selvan kept glue between them and has secret now After ten minutes, or after one hour, or after ten years, after hundred years, also, is it possible to separate them? No, sir. Separate them? No, sir. No. Why, sir? You may question, sir. First one also paper, second one also paper, but in between them some substance is there. What is that? Glue. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So this glue is what? Another substance. So that is why. the bond will form between the two different substances that is why the forces are very very strong that is why it is called as adhesive forces what we should call adhesive adhesive forces no. if you have doubt sir you may ask how many of you are having a glue bottle now you remove instantly sir i can i will get within second are you having glue bottle yes sir yes or no yes sir now if you have glue bottle please kindly check somewhere in that glue bottle they used to write adhesive in nature or else adhesion is it there or not you verify and tell me 